flowcharts and pseudo codes. This part is included for both O level and A level students. Without having good knowledge about, about this, you will be not possible to write programs in any computer language. Algorithm is a method of showing the steps in solving a problem. This algorithm can be represented graphically with flowcharts and textually with pseudocode. Now we will see what are the symbols that we can use for flowcharts. Now uh, I have taken uh, the symbols look at here. The first one is uh, start or end, second one that is input or output, third one for the process, fourth one for the decisions. Uh, next one for flow direction and the last one for connector now these connectors are not using uh, uh, all the time yeah, this is used if now if you don't have spaces in your say uh, drawing page or you have to go to next page so to connect both pages you have to have a connector that means uh, where you have stopped and where you are going to start right then uh, pseudo code if you take pseudo code there are some uh, standard words that we can use for pseudo code we'll see them begin to indicate a beginning that you have to start with then end to in in indicate an end input read and gate to indicate an input that that means you can take input read and get anything uh, you wish to indicate an input then output display or show to show an output process or calculate to indicate process now this process and calculate those stuff are not essential but you can put them when you are writing pseudo code but uh, it is not essential then if then else and if used to indicate a selection we will discuss them later for do while and while repeat until are used for indicating repetition that means same thing if if the same thing is repeating again and again you can use uh, these uh, pseudo code parts we will take the first one sequence sequence means steps are running one after another now if you are going to solve a problem the steps uh, you have to execute those steps one after another we will take one example input two numbers and find total now look at the flow chart I have to put a start then I am using input number one and number two <coughs> then I am uh, adding them that is uh, I have to use a uh, process symbol total equal number one plus number two then I am going to display that display total then I stop now uh, without taking number one number two you can take x and y even but the thing is if you put input x and y uh, there's no sense what do you mean by x what do you mean by y because of that you have to mention x y as numbers then uh, if somebody uh, look at this flow chart input x y x and y that he can understand this is this x x and y are numbers so you can uh, take any letter doesn't matter but it should be more sensible for the uh, user then we'll see uh, what is the pseudo code begin then you are uh, you input number one number two then process i have taken the word process without that word even doesn't matter totally equal number one and number two then display total now uh, if i put display total total within inverted comma that's wrong because if you put inverted comma that means it's a word now you don't want to display the word total you want to display the uh, total or addition of number one and number two to display that we are not using inverted comma then we'll take another example input length width and find area and the perimeter now like the earlier one i am starting the program then input length and width now it is more sensible length and width you can understand that 
if you put x y or a b you have to mention x is what for length y for width like that then uh, we uh, we are taking a process box area equal length into width then i am taking peri that is perimeter 2 into length plus width then i can display area and perimeter the same display or output box it is possible you don't want to take two display box you can represent it within one display box then it stop then i am uh, using the pseudo code begin input length and width area equal length plus width perimeter that is very equal to into length plus width then display area and perimeter and end. now you can see now if you can draw the flow chart it is easy to write the pseudo code then we'll uh, go to second example that is in selection selection mean statement will be executed according to condition now you are taking a condition if the condition is true you are executing one statement or several statement can be there else that mean if the condition is false you are executing different statement we'll take the first example of that input age of a person and if it is greater than 20 display adult otherwise display child now take a start i am uh, taking this input as age then i am using decision box because i have a condition if age greater than 20 i am going to display yes side and no side you can take any side but you have to mention which side is yes which side is no now i am taking this yes side uh, uh, horizontally display adult if it is no display child then i am going to stop that uh, now here the condition is age greater than 20 if you put 25 what will happen it will display adult if you put 15 it will display child now i am asking a question if you put 20 as age what will be the output now age 20 you are checking 20 greater than 20 is it true or false it is false because 20 is not greater than 20 so it becomes false because of that if you input age as 20 it will display child we will take the pseudo code also begin input age if age greater than 20 then you have to now here i want to tell you you have to use the word then with the if condition you have to put then so if age greater than 20 then you are going to display adult else else mean if not that like uh, in the flow chart no side display child then if you use if condition you have to use a end if to close or end the if statement then you have to put another end to close the or uh, end the pseudo code i am taking uh, another example input marks of a student and if it is greater than 75 display good and if it is greater than or equal 50 display work hard else display bad now we will um, take the flow chart start input marks then i am checking marks greater than 75 if it is greater than 75 i am going this um, horizontal side display good then if it is no again you have to check the condition now in that condition you have to check marks greater than no equal so i am using not only greater than i am using a equal mark also greater than no equal if it is greater than no equal you are going to display work hard that means if it is 50 even you are displaying work hard if it is more than 50 less than 75 that's also work hard if it is 50 even you are going to display work hard otherwise you are going to display bad then it will stop then we'll see the pseudo code input marks if marks greater than 75 then display good now else with the else you have to put a if condition because else and you are going to check another condition else if marks greater than no equal 50 display work hard else that means if not you are going to display by bad so with if condition you have to put end if and end 
we'll take the third type of uh, statement repetition or iteration that is statements are executing until condition is, is uh, true or false that means either condition true it work it will work uh, uh, until the condition true or until the condition false it, it will work so we'll take a uh, one example display numbers from 1 to 10 now here you are not going to input anything we have to start from 1 we have to end with 10 because of that i am taking a variable called n and i am assigning it to 1 so it's a process box now here i am taking n you can take any letter a b x y doesn't matter so this n i'm using to repeat it 10 times to check whether it's working 10 times we'll see the flow chart first time i'm checking n less than no equal 10 then if it is years i'm going to display n i'm adding 1 to the n then again come to the starting point of the condition if the condition is false that means no side i'm going to stop that now suppose now uh, look at the flow chart n equal 1 at the beginning n equal 1 n less than or equal 10 now n is 1 so 1 is less than or equal 10 that is true so it goes to yes side then display n that means 1 will be displayed n equal n plus 1 now n is 1 1 plus 1 new n become 2 then it is coming again to the top of that uh, condition then again checking less than n less than or equal to n now n is 2 so again that's a condition is true because 2 is less than uh, 10 so it is going to yes side then display n that mean it will display 2 now then n equal n plus 1 n now n is 2 2 plus 1 n become 3 again it comes here then uh, n less than or equal yes like that it goes up to 10 now look at uh, if you know uh, take the condition uh, less than or equal 10 uh, display 9 after display 9 what will happen uh, it will add 1 to the end then it become 10 10 again coming with the condition it will check it is not less than but it is equal because of that it will execute to yes side then it will display 10 then you are adding 1 to the end it become 11 when it becomes 11 11 less than no equal then that is false then it will exit from the loop now you can use a different method to display 1 to 10 not only this method now if i take n equal 1 uh, n less than 11 without putting equal 10 i am using less than 11 that is also possible like that there are different method of uh, taking the same flow chart so we will uh, see the pseudocode begin n equal 1 so here i am using while loop now while is used to display repetition part while n less than or equal 10 so condition all the time condition is true then display n that is the same way in the flow chart then n equal n plus 1 then i am using n y now earlier i used uh, n diff to uh, close the if condition now here same way while loop while loop you have to end with the end while between while and end while that part will be executed uh, until this condition is true now i am taking another way of writing the same program pseudocode using repeat until so i am assigning n equal one then repeat the word repeat then i am displaying n that is uh, number will be displayed n equal n plus 1 and n, n will be uh, increased by 1 then until n greater than 10 so if the condition until the condition false is working when the condition is true it will execute then i am using for loop look at here begin for n equal 1 to 10 we can give them directly for start from 1 and go up to 10 then display n next n next n, n miss n 2 3 like that it goes so what are the differences between these uh, repetitions so iterations while repeat and for we'll see them 
now this while loop execute until condition is true now by looking at this uh, pseudo code you can see if i start n equal 1 n less than no equal that condition is true so it goes inside and display and that mean it will display 1 n, e n equal n plus 1 n become 2 like that it will execute that mean execute until the condition is true then it become when it become 11 it will ex exit from the loop exit from the loop now repeat until whatever the condition it will execute at least one time exit from loop when the condition is true now we will take uh, one example uh, in uh, suppose n equal 11 look at the while loop part if n equal 11 what will happen while n less than or equal 10 now n is 11 so what will happen it will exit from the loop without showing anything but uh, look at repeat until part now instead of n equal 1 i am using n equal 11 so it comes to repeat part then display n that mean it will display 11 then n equal n plus 1 n become 12 then until 12 12 greater than 10 that condition is true then it, it will exit from the loop but it will display 11 so uh, that is the difference between while and repeat so while loop if the condition is false it won't execute at least one time even but repeat uh, until whatever the condition even, even the condition true or false whatever it is it will execute at least one time so it is very uh, difficult or it is very uh, you have to use the repeat until very carefully because of this situation the other difference is while condition if the condition is true it is working that means condition false it will exit but repeat until when the condition is false is working when the condition is true it will exit now if you take for loop for loop you can see uh, so you can use when you know how many times it's going to be repeated before starting the program now in this program i am using for loop because i know the program will execute 10 times only so i am starting with 1 and i am going up to 10 because uh, at the starting point that at the very first time before we start the program we know okay this program is working 10 times in the situation only we can use for loop we'll take another example input numbers until you enter 0 and display the total now here uh, you are asked to input any number when you enter 0 the program will be uh, exit and display total up to that part that means whatever the numbers you have entered up to 0 will be will be the total now you can understand here we can't use for loop because we don't know in which stage or it, uh, which time you are going to enter 0 so because of that we don't know how many times this loop or this program it is executing because of that we can't use for loop I look at the flowchart so I am taking t equals 0 t is uh, total I am taking as total then I am taking a number then I am checking the number is equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 only I am going to add that number to the total then I am taking another number then I am checking whether it is equal to 0 if it is no I am adding to that number and it is executed like that if the number whatever the number you input as a C, uh, input number as a 0 if it is 0 then it will go to yes side and display the total and exit from the loop now here I am using display t that or oh, otherwise display total outside the loop so why I am using that if you put inside this inside the loop what will happen each time you are generating the total will be displayed but if you want to take the final to final total that means after you enter 0 
it will exit from the loop in part and it goes to the no side sorry uh, yes side that means uh, number equals 0 yes side then you, then only you are displaying total that means your total will be displayed only one time that's why i am using display t outside the loop we'll take the pseudo code begin t equals 0 input number while number this symbol uh, greater than and less than is used for not equal while number not equal 0 then t equal t plus number then you are taking in input number then in while then display t and n now here in the flow chart i am checking number equal 0 now try to understand this situation i am using number equal 0 but in the pseudo code i am using number not equal 0 so why i am using two different symbol here in the flow chart i am using this number equal 0 and i am taking the repetition part to no side but uh, previous uh, previous uh, screen i told you this while loop or while condition is working if the condition is true so if the condition is true means it should not equal to zero then only you are taking number and you are adding that so because of that i am using while number not equal zero now instead of this uh, not equal symbol you can put exclamation and equal mark even so uh, in uh, in programming language even you you have different uh, symbols in pascal different than python is different doesn't matter you can take any symbol of that the other thing i want to tell you now in flowchart i am taking input number only one time but flowchart sorry pseudo code i am taking two times so why i am taking two times i am taking the first number with the input number then i am coming inside the while loop then after coming inside the while loop i can't go back or top of that while loop and take the number again because if the while loop is false it will go uh, uh, th that means it will exit from the while loop and it will display so because of that i have to take uh, second number inside this loop so uh, second number onwards i have to take within the loop because of that i am using input number inside the while loop then after finishing that uh, that mean if the condition is false that mean if whatever the number you are going to input is zero it will display the total which display the t now i am taking uh, to uh, explain this uh, uh, more more than uh, that uh, you can understand it uh, better I am taking some uh, test data. I am taking 5, 7, 4, and 0. We will see how it works. Test data look at the flow chart at the beginning. Now we start, then uh, t equals 0 at the beginning, t equals 0. So I have put uh, in this uh, table uh, t equals 0. Then I will take number as test data 5. Then input number become number become 5. So you are checking number equals 0. 5 is not e uh, equal 0 no it goes to no side then t equal t plus number that means t is at the beginning t is 0 then t plus number uh, 0 plus 5 uh, new t become 5 then again comes to this uh, input number part then you are taking 7 as my test data then 7 e equal 0 again no then t equal t plus number now t previous value 5 is there then 5 plus 7 it become 12 again you are taking a number then uh, I have taken 4 as a test data then uh, 4 is equal to 0 you are checking whether it is equal to 0 no side it goes to no side then t equal t plus number that means uh, now here I have uh, 5 plus 7 you get 12 12 plus 4 now my number is 4 so, uh, 12 plus 4 you get 16 then again you input number now I am entering 0 as a test data now what happened number equal 0 it becomes yes now what will be displayed it will display the 16 as the total now this table is called trace table now you can use this trace table you can draw this trace table for any 
type of flowchart or pseudocode so the, you can uh, clarify or you can uh, understand how it works using this trace table whether it's working properly or not can be identified by using a trace table I'll take another example for the repetition part input numbers until you enter 0 and display total of positive numbers only now here the same same program like earlier but the difference is you are going to take the total of positive numbers only so here you have to have a selection also so to to uh, identify positive numbers you have to check whether it's greater than zero look at the flow chart start uh, t equal zero input number you are uh, like the same way earlier number you are checking is equal to zero no no side then in the no side you are checking whether it's greater than zero if it is greater than zero only you are going to add that number to the total otherwise you are doing nothing you are just taking the next number and it is going until you enter zero when you enter zero it will display the total but this total is what it is the positive numbers total that means whatever the number you can enter uh, minus value positive values whatever it is but it will be adding only the positive values when you enter zero only it will ex exit from the loop and it will display the total look at the pseudo code also inside the while loop i am using if condition to check but here i am not using else part because i am not going to use this else part i am checking if it is greater than zero then only i am going to add that otherwise doing nothing so i have used end if then i am taking another number that is from the next second number onwards i am taking it inside the while loop. then after that finally after finishing this uh, repetition part that means when you enter zero it will exit from the loop and it will display the total then it will exit the program 